case you guys were wondering, yes, we did finish the floors and they turned out awesome. Waterproof uh, luxury vinyl planks. Mohawk makes them. I used uh, aluminum angle on the steps here for the nose and the gusset on the inside there. We turned our bedroom into Willow's art room. This is a pretty nice space for her. And I think I already showed you guys this when I did my little explanation video, but we turned her art room up here into the bedroom. And then I've got my little office in here where I edit all of my videos. In fact, there's today's GoPro footage getting uploaded right now. We love the floors. It makes the house so much better than the old carpets. Uh, we both got over the famous flu that's been going around. And uh, it lasted, what, three or four weeks. So we're both coming out of that. There's Blu-ray. Can you say hi to everybody, Blu-ray? Say hello. Give kisses to everybody. Can you give kisses? No kisses today. Nothing to say. He'll have something to say once I go out here. That's for sure. So, as far as uh, today's rusty footage that you guys saw there, we're doing some uh, crazy big uh, fat welds on this. I think I'm going to use that theme throughout the whole uh, body frame here. Just because I don't want to do any more grinding. I'm really getting tired of the grinding and... Uh, I'm just going to work on this small sections at a time because it's just really frustrating to me. Um, this is what happens to the flap discs within 10 seconds of touching them to the frame. This paint, whatever paint that Tyacol used on these frames is gummy. I mean, it is. it must be an oil-based paint or something, but it is really gummy. So it's hard going. Um, grinding and getting through a lot of this stuff but um, I'm just gonna work on this as time allows and we'll keep moving forward with the project I'm not gonna try and press myself to get everything done all at once because then I just get frustrated but um, I mean everything's going the way it should the vision I had is still uh, prevalent in my mind and everything's going to work out just fine so we got a couple of uh, other modifications I have to make to it as we move along I want to cut a little bit maybe like uh, three-eighths of an inch off of this diamond plate which will allow me a little bit of working clearance to um, remove the radiator and the intercooler if I need to but um, aside from that I'm just cleaning up a bunch of welds and uh, rusty metal and uh, just going through this a little bit at a time to get everything put back together. And then uh, hopefully we'll have a sunny day here where I can bust out the sprayer and use up a bunch of my oil-based flat black Rust-Oleum professional industrial paint. Um, but aside from that, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, with all of the things that are going on with the coronavirus and whatnot and all the scare and panic and stuff like that, take care of yourselves. Be safe. Uh, I don't know what's going to be happening in the next few weeks. I know here locally they've shut down schools uh, completely, which kind of baffled me. I mean, the governor shut down all of the schools for the entire month. So they are taking steps to make precautions to keep people separated. Um, I don't know what's going to go on as far as my hourly wage gig, but we're just taking it one day at a time. So I want you guys to stay safe. And as always, take care and I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.